I swear, I have a good bicep and tricep under there, under all that fat. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? guys and welcome to a fitness update video. Some of you guys have been asking me to do this and I thought I would oblige you since I do want to hold myself accountable and let you guys know some of the things that I have found out about myself recently, further expounding on what we've already talked about. The fact that I'm kind of a binge eater, the fact that I have addiction to food, I think I actually have a bit of an eating disorder, but we'll get to that soon. And what I'm also going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be actually laying out for you how my binge eating eating disorder goes. So a little bit of backstory if you guys don't want to watch the other videos I've made on this issue. I'll post the links in the description to those if you actually do want more backstory. But for just a quick summation of my journey, let's get into it. I've struggled with weight my entire life. I grew up kind of fat, not fat fat, but like chubby because my parents liked to spoil me in every way possible. So anything I wanted to eat, my parents would let me eat it or make it for me. They also don't eat that healthy as well. So it's kind of in my upbringing to eat poorly. I was like 150 pounds or something, which is I think about like 20 pounds overweight or something for my my frame when I was about 16 and then I went to community college and I learned a lot about fitness and dieting and the amount of calories you need to lose to lose a pound of fat and that really kicked my ass into overdrive and into gear and that's where I found the love for working out. My relationship with going to the gym and working out has always been a healthy one. I actually do enjoy it unless I'm really busy and I don't beat myself up if I don't go and I also don't do like five hours of cardio to try to make up for some binge eating episode either. I do a normal amount of cardio a few times a week and right now my weightlifting schedule is every other day full body because that's what Jay is doing while he's never mind why that's what Jay is doing and I basically just always do a female version of what he's doing because it's more fun for me to go to the gym with him so I am not averse to going to the gym as many people try to say that I am when they're like you need to lose weight all you need to do is go to the gym and I would agree that I do need to lose weight and also that it is very easy for most people to lose weight all you need is more calories out than calories in you don't need to do any crash diet you don't need to do any unsustainable eating habits, Atkins, etc. You can basically just do it by eating less calories than you expend, and you can expend more by going to the gym and doing compound workouts, lifting a few weights, and doing a bit of cardio, whichever cardio is the least unbearable for you, basically. For me, that's running or walking on a treadmill, walking outside, doing certain types of sports occasionally, and hiking, and no, sex is not an appropriate form of cardio because it's so short, and it doesn't burn nearly as many calories as you feel like it does. And let's be honest, most people have pretty boring sex, so you're really not gonna burn any calories, even when you're doing crazy sex, but normal sex? No. Why was I talking about sex as cardio? Anyway, so my problem has not been a lack of effort in the gym, or a lack of going to the gym, or a lack of know-how in the gym. In fact, I went to school for all this stuff, and it isn't a lack of know-how in terms of how to count calories, what kind of foods to eat. It's not like that. I have a problem with binge eating, and I, I'm really only realizing this myself now. I thought it was just like a bland food addiction, but looking back at my calorie intake, I can do perfect for a week and then I just completely binge and I always binge around the holidays and it's just ridiculous. I can't buy fast food without having too much of it in one sitting. I can't buy a pizza without eating literally half of it or all of it, depending on the size of the pizza. And my triggers, as they would call it for people who actually have eating disorders, are not bad times in life, they're good times. And I have so many good times in life, so it's been really frustrating. My triggers, I, for lack of a better word, I really hate using that word. I know it has its place in psychology and stuff, but for me, it's just a really annoying SJW word, and it's not something where I want you guys to stop doing something so that you don't trigger me or something. Ugh, not like that. No offense to anyone who uses that functionally moving on. My triggers are things like having a successful long day, laying on the couch doing my absolute favorite thing, playing video games, and then wanting to bolster that day off with way too much pizza, birthdays, holidays, vacations, feeling like I've lost some weight, which is such a fucking paradox. Basically anything that makes me happy or anytime I'm in a good mood or anytime I wanna like go out and do something, I choose to go out and eat food. Sometimes I'll be in the habit where that's not a big deal because I'll go to a place where the meal size is fit for me, but sometimes, and that's been a lot lately, especially after my birthday. If you guys don't remember, I actually lost 15 pounds and I gained it all back after my birthday. And you'll see that in this uh, app that I have here because I'm gonna actually show you in real time. We're gonna scroll through my Fitbit app as well as my uh, My Fitness Pal app, which is connected to my Fitbit app, and that's how I count my calories and also count how many calories I've expended in the day, what workouts I've done, etc. So let's just go ahead and jump into that portion of it. 
minutes so that I can show you what's going on and better explain my binge eating and the realization that I've had with it because it's not me just always eating too many cookies and every single day I just don't use my willpower to not eat an extra cookie. It's like I eat clean or a good amount of calories for a while and then at the end of the week my cheat meal is just like 10 times more than I've lost throughout the week. Oh my god. And I never want to be this type of person but I'm to the point where I'm starting to think that I need to cut out certain things forever. I've already cut out things like quesadillas because I can't stop myself from having three when I should be having half of one. And I'm thinking pizza might actually be one of those things but I want to try once again to get over it with logic and reason and willpower because to me I don't have a lack of willpower. Willpower to me is finishing a video in an allotted three hour time of editing which I fucking hate and not alt tabbing to Instagram and getting sidetracked. It's going to the gym every day and getting my uploads up on time, doing all of my annoying chores that I don't want to do. It's taking care of the house, it's taking care of Eve and I'm good with that. I don't have a willpower problem except when it comes to food and sex and especially food and especially sex. So yeah let's just jump into this app here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay so this is this week which we're not going to look at because for some reason Sunday hasn't populated yet. It says that I have lost 2046 calories so that's how many calories came out of my body and uh, on this app it shows you that this was yesterday. I ate 1517 calories which is fine. It's only 85 over my goal which is 1420 which is actually based on a deficit of me being completely sedentary so I can actually go over like 200 of that. On the Fitbit app you can tell what the expenditure of calories is by this like gray line that I'm clicking on right here. That's how many calories I've expended and usually it's in between 1800 and 2500. 1800 being pretty sedentary and 2500 being like a really eventful day and some time in the gym. So blue means under calorie, red means over the goal but not over calories to the point where you're gaining weight. Just less than my calorie loss. And green that you see right here is perfectly within where my goal is set. So in this app my goal is a 500 calorie deficit I think. You have to burn 3500 calories to lose a pound of fat. Give or take because everyone's metabolism is different. Not as different as the fat acceptance movement would have you believe. But it's a little different. And this is a representation of my week before last. So here you can see I was under calorie a lot. I was doing things correctly. Everything was going well except for that fucking Sunday. For some reason I decided to have probably pizza. Who fucking knows? Let's go see. So last Sunday, yes, I had a pizzone, a pepperoni pizzone. And then I also had those Hershey's chocolate chip cookie things. Oh my god, those are so fucking good. And then this is a little bit confusing because I go on a 12 hour schedule. So sometimes my dinner from the last night will be represented on the next day because it was after 12 a.m. So just kind of ignore this, but know that in a 24 hour span, I had 3,500 calories, almost 3,600 calories. So let's go back another week. This week, almost everything was bad. I had a few days where I under ate and then thought I could have a cheat meal after because I under ate. And instead the second day that I had pizza because I have pizza usually for two days, I just fucking ended up binge eating and then I binge ate twice. I had no business having this many calories these two days, but I did it. I don't know why. Before that, a horrible week. Before that, a horrible week. This must have been one of my longer binges where I just wasn't doing anything right. And you can see the days that I go to the gym are the days that I have the biggest deficit because I'm feeling more productive. And sometimes I get into these ruts where I'm just having pretty bad days. And then I tell myself, well, look, look at all these deficits. I should be kind of losing weight, right? But when you add it all up, I'm clearly not losing weight. And it makes sense why. It's not a metabolism thing. It's like a mental mindfuck thing. And if you guys want to watch the videos I mentioned before, I have a lot of videos on this because I've been dealing with this, trying to overcome it myself for a while now. I'm still convinced that I can overcome it myself without any outside intervention other than Jay just kind of helping me along and being like, are you sure that we should be going out right now. And he's honestly a little bit of an enabler, not because he really likes to overeat too, but because he doesn't like saying no to me. He doesn't like disappointing me. And I've told him you need to be more assertive with telling me no when you really think it's no or like asking to see the app or truly asking me, can you afford these today without starving yourself the next day, you know? And I never end up starving myself the next day, which I wish I did. I wish I was unhealthy in that way. I always end up eating the right amount the next day, which means that my deficit is not good. So let's go back even farther. See, this was pretty good. Even though I broke even a few days and went over the goal a few days, I had a lot of days where I was under. Under is really easy to do if I keep myself busy, but as soon as I'm done with the busyness, I'm more inclined to want to go out and have a cheat meal because I feel so accomplished in having done like a 16 hour day of work, right? I accomplished things by editing two videos, recording another. I did a long stream. It was successful. I got a few more subscribers and now I want to relax, eat some pizza and play video games on the couch, but I really need to disassociate 
associate eating a lot of food with good days. I want to associate good days with eating bad food, but I want to do it in moderation. I want to teach myself moderation. I don't want to eat until I'm super fucking full and it sucks because at this point my stomach esophagus thing is so stretched out that it doesn't even feel like a lot of food anymore. So I actually end up feeling kind of hungry even though I've had tons of calories, which is whew, not good. I don't ever overeat if I'm eating my normal at home food, like ever. I'm always on the ball, but if I have takeout or I go out to eat or I order pizza, pizza especially, it just fucks me up. I don't know, going back further. So this is pretty okay. I had one day, but that, that could have been a cheat meal. I think cheat meals that look like this are fine because every other day I have such a deficit that it's gonna add up to a deficit in the end. And if this cheat meal can give me some peace of mind and keep me on the correct path, then going back a little bit on the week's loss is good to me. Going back further, horrible, not good. Uh, some days are good, most days are under calorie, but then there's that fucking day and I'm sure that was Pizza Hut, like what the fuck? Going back further, it's all kind of a trade-off. This week looks pretty good to me. If I can do this consistently for months instead of doing the better version, which is what I'm doing now for only a week and then fucking it up, I'll be happy. Going back further, let me show you what happened after my birthday, okay? Still going back. Okay, so here is leading up to my birthday. This is when I lost 15 pounds. You see every single day I'm under or breaking even. Every single day, each week, and that's where I got down to 15 pounds less than I am now. Then, look at this. Next week, it's the week of my birthday. I worked up until the week of my birthday. I was filming things. I was filming fan service Fridays and videos trying to get ahead so I could take a few weeks off. Then, I decide, hey, fuck it. I'm not even gonna count calories for one week, two weeks, three weeks. Oh, there's a couple calorie counts. I tried to start getting back into it. Oh, there's one there. And you can tell the days I didn't even track calories are the days I just fucking ate whatever the fuck I wanted to. And then it kept going until January. And that's when I realized I had gained my 15 pounds back. I need to stop this vicious cycle of every quarter of a year doing decently and losing 10 to 15 pounds and then fucking binging because it's Christmas or binging because it's my birthday, which happens to be way too close to Christmas. So I end up binging for like fucking three months. And it's not like I do the 3000 calories every day, but it's like, I just stop caring. So I'm probably doing like 2,500 calories a day. And I'm so glad I actually weighed myself sooner rather than later, because that's when I realized, whoa, I actually gained all of that back. Honestly, this week, I feel like I've made a breakthrough in realizing that and going back and looking at all of that. Because if you see here, I do so much walking and working out and lifting weights. Like usually I'll do five out of five days a week, all the time. Four out of five days a week, four out of five days a week, three out of five sometimes. I do a lot of swimming. I do a lot of weight training, treadmill. I'm fucking walking every day with Jay if I don't go to the gym. So right now it's like one day on, one day off, and that day I'll be doing walking outside because I'm sedentary for my job usually. I actually do a lot to better my health. So I'm relatively fit, like fit as in my cardiovascular health and my muscle mass and stuff. And that's why I have a good curvature to my body and I look good generally, but I've packed on so much extra fat here and on my waist and extra fat on my legs and extra fat on my ass. And it just needs to go. It's not healthy. Being almost 180 pounds at five foot four is not okay. I know I carry it well because I have a lot of muscle mass and some of that is probably what's contributing to me being such a high weight, having built muscle mass and muscle memory over many, many years of consistently working out. I've always been a fitness person, but I want to have the body that I had when I started working out at 16 and when I was modeling from 18 to 25, I wanna look fit to go with my actual fitness. I don't wanna have excess fat because for me, it's aesthetically unpleasing. It's not healthy and it feels gross. I don't know, having fat on you just feels gross. When you feel like a roll in your stomach or when it's hot outside and you're sweating extra, obviously I'm always gonna have the boob sweat, but it's drastically increased when you have extra body fat and also I sweat a lot easier when I have extra body fat. So. This is what I want. This is what's good for my body. I know what I want with my body. I just need to figure out why I have this weird eating disorder and weird relationship with food and food addiction because I wanna get it taken care of before I hit 30 something and it's no longer reversible. Right now, my skin is very elastic. It's nice. It has a lot of collagen. It's gonna snap back, but I only have a few more years of that and I wanna get it under control. So if anyone can relate to this, this weird off and on binge eating that's triggered by either sadness or happiness for me, 
me is triggered by happiness and good things and wanting to celebrate. But I know for most people, this kind of thing is triggered by being sad or wanting to have food as a comfort or something. And what made me want to make this video other than people asking me to make a fitness update and me wanting to hold myself accountable was I was watching a video about someone talking about binging and purging. So being bulimic after having huge binges and the binge part fit me almost to a T. The fact that there were certain times when I wanted to binge and other times where I wasn't even thinking about food. The fact that I felt like I wasn't really doing anything out of the ordinary or anything weird. And obviously I've been around guys my entire life. So the whole like, oh yeah, she can eat thing has been kind of a cool thing about me. Never really anyone bitching about me eating a lot, especially since I've mostly kept my figure in check and I still look attractive and no one thinks that I'm actually unhealthy looking even though I feel unhealthy when I'm at this weight. I've never really had anyone like kick my ass on it except for Jay. And again, Jay likes to still make me happy more than he wants me to be my ideal and his ideal weight. So what? Did you hear her? What do you mean? And she can't have treats right now, so why should I be able to have treats? Anyway, if you guys wanna watch uh, my video entitled I'm Fat, and then my other video, I've, I've made like three or four videos on this, me just like picking my own brain about this because I never thought that the brain and addiction could be so banal, you know? Like I thought it would be something that was ruining my life. But this is just something that I've been not coming to terms with making excuses for. Like, oh, I have a slow metabolism. I go to the doctor, I find out I don't have a slow metabolism. It's saying that, oh, I must have overall done well, when no, I have not done well. And like overall, I'm healthy. Look, I get enough sleep. I drink a lot of water. I work out all the time. The main thing I have to fix is my relationship with food. And I'm still on that journey, but I think I'm getting there. Let's not fuck it up again. Let's not start binging pizza and then make excuses. And last night, I think I kind of did it because I had one of those hazelnut Uncrustables because right now I've been having like a sweet tooth. I usually don't have a sweet tooth. I have a salt tooth. But lately I've been having a crazy sweet tooth. So I had one of those and it was within my calories, but I gave one to Jay as well. And Jay was like, you know, I'm full. I don't really want this. And I was like, I'm going to eat yours. And he's like, I don't think you should. And then he went to go get ready for bed. And when he came back, it was still on the couch. And I'm like, get that thing away from me. Okay, I'm not going to have it. And then in the morning I was able to have it because it fit within my calorie restrictions. And I wasn't just having it all at once and then probably having it again in the morning as well. So making good choices, small choices and changing what I want to celebrate with a little bit, instead of it being just tons and tons of food, I want it to be like just the taste of food, like having a little bit. Or maybe celebrating more with sex rather than celebrating with food. Or maybe celebrating more with buying something for myself. If I have to become someone who's like a shopaholic for a little bit in order to get over this, something I know I'm not gonna get addicted to because I don't really care about it that much, but it does give me that like tiny rush of dopamine, then so be it. I have the money right now. It's better spent doing that and self-medicating with retail therapy rather than going and paying 200 bucks an hour to some dumbass, soft science ass bitch who's gonna tell me to keep a food log, which I already do. I really don't think that there's anything that they can do that I can't do myself. And until I'm proven wrong, I'm gonna keep trucking and keep holding myself accountable with you guys. So I think I'm making some progress now. I, I think I look a little less whatever, blech. I think I'm losing a little body fat and gaining a little bit of muscle because I switched my weight training up. So if you guys see me looking softer than usual, please do bitch at me. I personally think that fat shaming does work, especially when you're in the right mindset and you don't hate yourself while you're fat. I don't understand why body positivity is even a thing really. Like I always love myself, fat and not fat. The point is that you love yourself enough to change and better yourself. So that's my journey. Let me know what you think. If you can relate, do you binge eat? Have you ever had any weird relationship with food? Are you someone who can't gain weight? Oh, I envy you. But the grass is always greener. Just as I wanted to have big, curly, fluffy African-American hair when I was younger, and a lot of my African-American girlfriends wanted to have this straight, silky, thin, blonde hair. Such is life. Such is life. But I'ma fucking get there. We're gonna crush some goals. I've done it before. Before my birthday, I was down 15 pounds. I was on the right track. I wasn't binging. I was going out to eat still. That's the point. I don't want to have to quit cold turkey and never have anything I like because that is gonna be detrimental to my health. But maybe doing that on a schedule and keeping a set schedule like I do with my uploads, maybe that's something I need to do. And never indulging extra just because I had a good day. Or maybe indulging in just one of those uncrustable things. I don't know. Final note, I don't need advice. I don't need people telling me that I look 
great. I know I do. It's just not ideal and I like to better myself. I know, crazy concept, right? Don't tell me what to do with my body. It's gonna be on deaf ears. You can tell me all you want that you like the way that I look now or thick Tara is hotter or whatever, but I'm not fishing for compliments and I know what I want, so it's not gonna change anything. And yeah, no dumb advice, please. Please don't tell me to do anything like the Atkins diet or just do this and it'll be really easy because anything that's stricter than just a calorie deficit will not work for me with this mindset. It's not about willpower in the most basic sense. It's like a weird relationship with food thing. Because when I'm keeping myself busy, such as today, calorie intake is perfect. And if I do this all the time, the days that are perfect, and just cheat once in a while within reason, I'll be down to my goal weight in no time. Here's to getting there. And I hope you guys are working on yourselves as well. Whatever you wanna change, fucking get there. Hold yourself accountable, make a schedule. I don't know why I'm preaching yet because I haven't gotten there. And maybe one day we'll do workout videos like you guys want and what I eat in a day videos. Once I feel that I have something to actually show off. Quick update guys, I just threw on a different shirt because I've filmed two videos today and I wanted it to be different looking. So yeah, no titties, sorry about that. It's real quick though. Flash forward a week ahead from when I made this video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'm gonna put the screenshots here. I'm not gonna do the whole like capturing the video type thing cause that's really annoying. I promise I'm not editing it though. I went through a day off weekend thing, two and a half days off and I ate three cheat meals in that time. And I didn't go over calorie once. Two of the days were actually in the green zone. Only one of the days was like, almost close to maintaining, but I did it. I didn't binge, I didn't get pizza, I had healthy proportioned meals that still felt like cheat meals because, you know, they were good tasting. I went to a pancake house one day and then I went to get a, a sub, like a sandwich, the other day and I actually had chips and a cookie because that day I had burned 1600 calories by 10 a.m. doing a hike and I found this cool location that has tons of different hikes, so I'm really excited about this and I'm actually trying to really relish in the feeling of not being bloated and full of food. I'm trying to make that kind of like my reward, but so far so good. Hold me accountable to doing an update in August or September where I hopefully have lost like 10 pounds of fat at least. I should be able to do 10 in that time, right? That's like two or three months from now. But if I haven't lost anything or if I've lost and gained back, I want to still make that video. Even if I've learned nothing new and I'm defeated and I fucked up, I want to make sure I have that update video for you guys. So if I don't have that up by August or September, please start bothering me me on Instagram and YouTube and everything. Resume normal footage. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Let's get there. Oh, I'm gonna be red. <laughs> Bye.